why would she stop? Why would Lauren stop? And all I felt was skin. Shiny skin. Hey guys, it's Trey and today's video is another natural hair horror story you guys' favorite here on my channel. Let me know how you're enjoying horror story week so far. We had some really crazy horror stories so far and they only get crazier from here. I can't make this up if I wanted to. So I'm not going to ramble, but before I jump into the story, let me give some shout outs. If you want to shout out like this, you have to be a part of Notification Squad and Snapchat fam. So after you handle your business, hopefully you will get a shout out next time. Now let's jump into the horror story. Alright, so the email says, Hi Treya, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on your pregnancy and I am really excited to see the new bundle of joy this October. We thank God, may God bless you, now on to this story. Shaking my head. Thank you so much. It was prom season and everyone was getting their hair done. People were getting weaves, box braids, crochet braids, etc. So, I decided to get crochet braids since I've done them before and love them. My friend, on the other hand, didn't have anyone to do her hair. She also wanted crochet braids with full locks. So I called my aunt, who would usually do my hair, and asked her whether she would be able to do our hair. She said no because she had recently undergone an operation, so she wasn't feeling well. I was disappointed because she was the only one who did my hair most of the time, and she could handle both natural and relaxed hair. So now I only had one choice and that was to go to a salon. You guys know how these salon stories go so let's see. Mind you I've never got my hair done at the salon but I have a relative who works there. Let's say her name is Lauren. I called Lauren and she said she would be able to do our hair for both of us. So I thought hmm maybe she would do it perfectly since the name of the salon implies that it's a salon that specializes in natural hair. Mm -mm. I mean, crochet braids don't hurt that much, right? Right? Wrong. So, the next morning, Tuesday, it was time for us to get our hair done. My friend came over as she needed help with blow drying her hair. I agreed to help her and did it. I also added heat protecting before doing so. I did the same with my own hair. When we were done, we made our way to the salon and my friend was first to do her hair. O.M.G. As soon as my friend sat down, Lauren takes out the blow dryer. We told her that we've already done it before we came, and she replies saying, Yeah, I know, but sometimes we have to do it again. We both looked at each other thinking we are doomed. So she starts blow drying her hair on high heat, and I mean high heat. Like I could feel the heat spreading all the way to where I'm at. Her head was jerking forwards and backwards like if her hair was being yanked because it was. I saw the hair dryer picking at her scalp instead of her hair. At the end my friend says my head hurts but what does Lauren do? Does she stop? No. Why would she stop? Why would Lauren stop? She carries on like everything is normal. The other woman starts blow drying my hair and it is different. She does it slowly and calmly and she varies the heat. So I'm thinking was this a setup or what? Anyways, afterwards, Lauren begins to braid my hair. It was all smooth and calm until she reached the front. She braided so tight at the front that my eyelids were being pulled backwards. She braided her dirty hands into my scalp. All I saw was my scalp being pulled upwards. I felt like my scalp couldn't breathe. However, call me a champ if you have to because I was able to bear the pain throughout. Then the same woman who blow dried my hair started putting the crochet extensions in our hair. So I'm thinking, how will the hook be able to fit through the braids if they have been braided tight? She began to install them. I swear it was like as if the hook was penetrating my scalp instead of the braids. I felt like I was being punished and tortured for absolutely no reason. Honestly, looking at the stylist's hair and how damaged it looked, I should have walked out of that salon as quick as I walked into it. I should have known that they won't be able to handle natural hair. It was like as if she was angry and jealous that we were both naturals and have so much hair so she tried to do the same damage and take that blessing away from us. It was written all over her face. It was horrible. Although the braids were tight, we both looked stunning on prom night and slayed everyone. So almost a month later, I took my braids down only to discover the horror of my life. When I took down the braids, the extensions at the front came out with my hair my real 
hair. And when I looked at the part of my hair that came out, it was straight and free, like as if it was relaxed. When I touched my scalp in that area, all I felt was skin, shiny skin. So I'm thinking, did she sneak a relaxer in my hair? Because I remember her putting this conditioner on my hair so that it would be easier to blow dry my hair. I was stressed, angry, agitated, depressed, and disappointed all at the same time. Luckily, it wasn't a relaxer. Good. Because we did have a story where a stylist snuck a relaxer. I think we had two stories, actually, where a stylist snuck relaxer in someone's hair. So, I thought this was going to be another one. Luckily, it wasn't a relaxer, and I was also lucky that I didn't sustain any heat damage. I was so angry that I felt like screaming at her, but I thought, she's a relative, so it wouldn't be the best idea. But I know one thing for sure, and that is that I'm never, ever, ever going back to that salon to get my hair done. Even if Lauren is the only one in my area that can do my hair. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm never trusting her again for anything. Lessons that I have learned when getting your hair done, always look at the reviews before you do so. Yes, look at the reviews and try to talk to actual clients. Because sometimes reviews are a little skewed, okay? Look inside the salon to see how many people go there. An empty salon suggests that they are not very good. Okay, I like that. In my case, the salon was very empty. We were the first and only customers along with another woman, and that's it. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. That's kind of sketchy if they don't have that many clients. Always remember to look at the stylist's hair. If it is damaged, it shows that they don't care about their hair. Now, that's a tip I really stand by because if the stylist's hair is fried and damaged, that would make me think that they don't take really good care of their hair, so why would they take good care of my hair? So, yeah, I agree with that one. And if they don't care about their own hair, they sure as hell won't give two flying monkeys about yours. You said it correctly. I've been applying castor oil ever since and it appears to be working. My friend also didn't get heat damage and our friendship is still as strong as it was before. Thank God. Finally, I would like to thank you for reading my horror story. It is much appreciated. I love you so much, Treya. Send my love to Reagan Maurice and of course the new bundle of joy. Lots of love, Fatima. Thank you so much, Fatima, for sharing your natural hair horror story with me. Um, this story, I'm not really sure if it's a jealous stylist story. Um, you said everything was good when she was braiding your hair up until she got to the front where it got tight. I don't know, maybe she was trying to grip your hair so she had to, you know, kind of pull on it. I'm not saying that that is okay, but um, I'm saying that may be the reason why it hurt as she got closer to the front of your hair. But I'm not sure. Either way, you shouldn't have had to experience this horror story, losing your hair, your edges. Um, yeah, but I'm not really sure if this is a... I'm not really sure if this is a jealous stylist story um it it very much could be but i'm not i'm not really sure if this one is and as far as the blow drying goes i know that some stylists prefer to do the blow drying themselves and some stylists actually want you to come in with your hair blow dried so maybe that is something they do where they want to um do the blow drying you didn't get any heat damage from it so that's good and I definitely agree with the things that you learned from this story. I definitely agree. You should definitely look at the reviews. Try to talk to actual clients. You know, if you have like a homegirl that gets her hair done, you know, ask her her experience and things like that so that you kind of know what you're getting into. Also, you should definitely pay attention to the stylist's hair. Make sure that their hair is in a good condition because if they're not taking care of their hair, then that's a problem. I mean, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, other than that, this story actually isn't as bad as the other horror stories. I mean, I know you lost some hair, but I'm so glad that, you know, your hair is recovering from this. But this one is kind of on the mild side, okay? This one isn't too, isn't too crazy. I mean, you chose to sit through the pain even though it was hurting. I mean, your friend told the stylist that it hurt and she didn't really care, so she I don't know. I feel like you should have kind of left at that point, but it's okay. 
I'm glad that your hair is recovering from this. I'm glad you learned some lessons. I hope you guys out there learned some lessons. Um, but thank you so much for Team Before sharing your natural hair horror story with me. Um, this one wasn't too bad. This one wasn't too bad. If you have a horror story that you want me to feature here on my channel, definitely email me at tintatrea at gmail.com and hopefully I will feature it soon. So yeah, that's all I have for today's horror story. I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye guys! Mama told me, ayy, not to sell work Mama, 17, 5, same color t-shirt White Mama told me, ayy, not to sell work